Even though Francisco Colvo returned to Minnesota United on Sunday, he was still wrapped up in the World Cup. After meeting with the media to reflect on his experience, his I caught a laptop playing Friday morning's Sweden-Switzerland round of 16 match. He had to stop and watch for a few seconds before hustling to the locker room at the National Sports Center to change into his training gear for practice. Colvo played a total of 105 minutes at the World Cup, starting Costa Rica's 1-0 loss to Serbia and coming on as a sub in the team's 2-0 loss to Brazil before setting the 2-2 draw with Switzerland. While he accomplished a goal of starting a World Cup game, he said he felt he played just OK and wished he had played more minutes. Coming out of the group stage with just one point was disappointing for the Loons captain, but overall, he called the World Cup experience amazing and a dream. I'm really happy to have that experience because not most of the players have the chance to get into the World Cup, Colvo said. So now, I just want to translate everything to my team and my teammates, Colvo said his biggest takeaways from the tournament were the intensity at that top level and how subtle things can make a big difference. I'm pretty sure if me and my teammate are a little bit more intense, more dynamic, more touch the ball and move, we are going to be a different team, Colvo said. So I want to translate that. I want every one of us in every training giving 120% every day. Upon arriving back in Costa Rica after the World Cup, Colvo's mom messaged him to share the news that he would be in the MLS All-Star Game on August. 1. I'm really happy, Colvo said. When I get to the MLS All-Star Game, I want to train hard the couple days we're going to train and then if the coach picks me to get into the field, I'm going to do my best. It's an honor, Colvo said of Atlanta United coach Gerardo Heda Martino picking him for the game. He was a Barcelona coach. I think he knows a lot about football, and I wasn't expecting that honor, to be honest, mental games before Wednesday's 4-3 victory against Toronto, the Loons hadn't won in regulation in more than a month and had scored only three goals in the past five games. Striker Christian Ramirez said the offense just chose not to focus on the scoring drought and instead looked at the good aspects of the team. We created enough chances last game, Friday against Dallas, for two or three games, and any other given day, a couple of those go in. We just have to continue to believe in ourselves and what we are doing because if we're doing the right things, continue to make the defenses respect that and continue to open up plays, Ramirez said, adding his team's defense was a standout even if the attack was not. As long as we can keep that going, that defensive mentality, the goals will come. Note, with his fifth yellow card of the season Wednesday, Colvo will serve an accumulation suspension for the 8 p.m. Saturday match at the Houston Dynamo. Colvo was in his first game back since May 26 after being away at the World Cup.